so hello everyone welcome back to programming knowledge so in today's video we are going to create the adaptive design what do you mean by adaptive design like in the flutter it supports a cross platform development right so if there will be sometimes like we will be creating the cross platform application for website and for phone as well so we have to define like we have to do some coding to make the to make the code for both of the platforms now but the thing is we can do the logics and all but in the designing part how we will manage those designing part so in today's video we are going to see this so without wasting any time let's move on to our today's topic so on to our android studio this is a basic code which we get by default like it just created a new flutter project so let's just remove the attribute which we don't require right now very first i will be removing all the comments then i don't need the increment method as well and i don't need the extras just remove all the of that So now you can see I just I removed all the unnecessary codes right now. So let me just create the simple basic layout. Before that, how we can get the different sizes of this? How can we can get the different size of the screens onto a single device? Uh, so to test the application, we of course we won't buy the average size of device and design for it. So in the Flutter, we have one package called Device Preview. It is a web simulator which provide us the all the screen sizes of all the other platforms devices. For example, Linux Speak. We can get the Linux. We can get Windows desktop application websites and all. So for that, you have to write the Flutter pub add, and after that, just write the device preview. After that, run the command flutter pub get. So done. Now, how to use the device preview? So you, to use the device preview, go to main dot dot main dot dot file, go to main function, and inside the run app method, remove the code, and write device preview. After that, in the builder, pass the Context in parenthesis, then make a write a arrow. After that, just pass just pass the my app once again, and now you can run this on the web. Till the time it's running, let's just create a basic UI for a Flutter app. So guys, now on the design. Now you can see the design. In this design, like I am using our iPhone 13. So in this simulator, you can see that there is a box in the middle, and the hello world is written. This is perfect for this design. But what if by coming over here, by what if if this app open on iPad? So now you can see. First, the box was taking the box was taking the more part of the screen but now it's like uh, we can't able to read the text also properly it gets very minimized and the uh, size of the box is also get smaller and this becomes more issue when we are making a cross platform and which supports windows and mac also like for example if i am using large so now you can see that the text gets more small and the box gets more smaller but we don't want this right like we want the design should be consistent for every platform and how we can make that so in this video we are going to see that so the first thing to making it 
you can use any type of widget stateless and stateful just go to build method and inside the build method make a variable called size and its data type should be size or you can use where also after that write media query then dot and use size of context it is done so now you get this size of a screen okay this is the first method how you can do the second method to do the same thing is size size and over here you can write media query dot off context then you can use the size so this and this will also return the same thing and if you don't want the size as the double like as a size <coughs> as a size data right you want it for double how you can get that you can get the height and width individually like just write the double over here and take the height and the width write media query dot of context dot size dot height so by this you can get the height individually and in the same way you can get the width also so these are the few methods to get the size of our basic screen so i am going to use this method the first one so now what i am going to do i will say that i want the 10% of my screen or 25% of my screen height should be taken now how we can do that just write size dot height this means you are accessing the screen's size and after that you have to implement the method which method like how we calculate the percentage so we calculate the percentage by using like if i want the 5% of the size height of the height so what i will do i will write 5 divide by 100 multiply by size of height this is the basic formula which we use so we can make it more simpler more simpler just if you want the 5% of the screen this is i percent not 50% so like if i am using this this means i am using the 25% of the screen so the another way of writing this is just add a zero and the later number so this means the 25% of the height similarly this means the 50% of the height this means the 5% of the height so i am going to using the 25% of the height and for width also i am going to use the 25% of width so but uh, how we can access the width we can access the width using the size bit now just save it and go to our app again now you can see the container changed accordingly okay now what you can do just switch the switch to any other tab now you can see it is a vertical rectangle okay so in the ipad also it is a vertical rectangle but now you can see the size of the <coughs> rectangle increased first the hello world was not fitting but now it is fitting now come on to mac os and now over here you can see that it is a horizontal because it is taking the screen size based on the screen the elements the size and width are changing now what you can do one more thing if i am using the 50 percent of the height and 50 percent now you can see it is taking the 50 percent of the screen and on to ios it is taking the 50 percent of the width and height it's not compulsory if you are using the height so give height only or if you are using for width so give width only it's depending on you like you over here you can pass height also so it will give us the square now you can see it is giving us the square similarly with the mac os and all you can make the design according to you 
now what's the next part now the next part like uh, we did like we know how we can now increase the size of a container or any widget whenever we use but what if i want the text also should be increased how we can do it how we can implement it we can implement it by just simply seeing the values over here so over here it is written in the ios part 375 by 667 okay you can come on to android also 360 by 640 360 by 800 360 by 800 so the first the first number is always denotes the width width is basically 360 into 640 640 is the height so let's just assume it that over here font size if size dot width if size dot width is greater than if it is greater than uh, let's take one size if it is greater than 360 so if it is greater than 360 then the font size will be greater than equal to 360 then the font size will be 24 so just go over here and now we can see in the android when i am choosing the small device so it is giving us this but if i am when i am using the sony xperia so at that time also the letter doesn't get small as you can see now let's just make it more visible to you guys now i made it to 28 so if the screen dot size of which is 360 then it should be 20 but if it is more than 360 okay so there is one mistake in the logic and that is if the size dot width is, width is greater than 360 so give us the 28 and if it is not give us 20 so this is the mistake in the code so now you can see this is the part if it is small so it is 20 but if it is um, yeah so now you can see on the main home page now this is the design this letter is small because it is a small device but let's just go to some medium device the text size also increased as the device size increases now you can see like if i just remove this condition for now and save it back now you can see this text size is small but if i repaste the code and now you can see the text size is increased and if i am switching to small it is changing the font size as per the screen size so this is how we can make and one more thing you can do with this is okay, if the width the same if the width or if the height whatever you like you can use so i am using the width again size dot width is greater than if it is greater than 360 again the same example so if it is greater than 360 let's just use any other color let's just use some black color okay so now you can see over here so i am using the small device but if i want to like a, i want some features like this okay if in on the small devices the color should be this and on the medium devices the color should be different so when i am clicking on the medium so the color is changing so this is what the adaptive design means like you are adapting your design your code based on the simulator based on the screen sizes of your game and we can do this by using the media query so basically this is what this is what and how we can use so we have one more example you can see the screen width is 1620 so the flutter demo page in the app bar it is not visible and it is not readable properly so let's just increase the size how we can increase the simple way to write it just give the font size and by default the font size is 16 okay so just write over here if the width is greater than equal to 1620 then the font size should be 28 or else 16 now you may see that the font size is increased as per the design now if you go back to android any other device now you can see it is again small 
and when you go back to the NEOS, it again increases. So this is how we can design a page, a simple page. And you can also do something like this. Yeah. So what we will do? We are going to use the column. We are using the column and we are getting the one container. So let's just make this container two. Okay. Now there is two container and let's give the size box a height of 10. So now you can see, go to a screen. We can see there are two design, like two containers. And on to Android, you can also see there is two container. Let me just make it small so that we don't get this issue. Let's just quickly fix the issue. So now you can see there is a two designs. And let's just give the main axis alignment to center. So this is the page. Now if I'm going to on the Mac OS. So on the Mac OS, but we don't want it like this. We want it in the row. Okay. So now what we can do? How we can implement that thing? So to implement that thing, you can write like just come over here and write width. If the width is greater than equal to 1620. So use the row widget or else use the column widget. But how we can use a row widget? Just close this and copy this much part and paste it over here. Now, what is width? Width is size dot width. Now, what will happen? Now, you can see in the, <clears throat> in the mobile screen, it is vertical. But the moment I go to the any simulator, or any Mac OS devices or any desktop or any websites, it will come in the horizontal. Now, there is no space because we have to change something and which is called this. Like it's giving us the height difference. We want the width difference. Now, the same. Now, you can see if I am going to the Android, any device, so it's showing me in the vertical and it's showing me in the horizontal. So, this is what adaptive design called in the flutter development and if we can achieve this design using the media pen so that's it for today's video thank you